Briar Legion, and the Grok. Yep, he's won this one. He isn't playing the Grok? Well, I mean, I guess he doesn't need to, but... Why wouldn't you play the... Gwer, what are you doing? Why would you not play the Grok? Admittedly, I don't have a spell, so this turn I don't have an answer to what you've got on the board here, but... Never mind, I do. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hellfire Scarn. Play an action, the troop gets permanent 3-3. Three, three. Oh man. I think this wipes his board. But I don't know how much else it does. Ruby Aura, let's put a Ruby Aura on you. Alright, so they get boosted fairly high. Admittedly, he could chump block a whole bunch of them into killing one, but that's a trade I would be absolutely fine with. Blaze Elemental going out. We're looking at quite a bit of damage here this turn. See, we got 14, 20, 23. 23 damage on the board. And he's all he's got are his troops. So now he's got to play this out. I'm really surprised he didn't play the Grolk on that turn. The Grolk to me was the play that made the most sense. Yes, he's chump blocking. All right. That makes sense. He's saving the Conjurer. So he's going to get hit for 17. 17? 17. What do I want to kill? Um. We want to take out the Flygorger. Flygorger is the most dangerous one at this point. Yep. Flygorger goes down. He's down to 6 health. Because he got the. He got the life drain from the Venus Fly Gorger, so that's why he got buffed up there. But. I definitely have a board advantage this turn. But you know what? All he needs to do is play the Grolk. Why aren't you playing the Grolk? Why aren't you playing the Grolk? The Grolk is what will save you. In fact, unless I misunderstand what... There it is. That Grolk should have come out last turn. And now the Hellfire Scarns are going to be down for the count. Oh no, has he won this? If not, he's come very close. Interesting he chose not to attack. Okay, Ceremony. I haven't played this card yet. Let's see what I can bring up. Ah, here we go. Now things are a little bit interesting. Oakhenge allows me to get a troop card. Oh, come on. Allows me to get a troop card from the top five cards in my deck. In a deck like this, tends to be really good. Let's resolve the gas troll and then play the baby yeti. Now a two two and a or a two two and a one one out on the board here. And those two ten ten scarns will be up next turn, so I still have the board advantage, but oh man, is he sitting on a resource advantage right now? I don't have much to block with. And if he's... Oh, no. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You know, Heavy Hitter made the note that the Conjurer was a real threat to me earlier in the chat. I think I see what he's talking about. Because if one of these two cards in Gwer's hand is a Briar Legion, that's gonna hurt. 
Is that what you were referring to there, Heavy? The fact that he could stuff his deck with them and then play a whopper out on the board from his hand? Or was there something else you were looking at? Admittedly, when I made the decision to originally, a few turns back, to burn uh, Antrath or Gwer, as he's actually in game, well, in the forums and everywhere else, we know him as Gwer everywhere else. Admittedly, I wasn't thinking the game was going to get this long. I thought I would have been able to f hopefully finish this, or he would have finished this earlier. But that n has not happened as of yet. This game's gone on quite a while. Let's see what he does. Uh-oh, here it comes. How bad is this? Two six sixes on the board. Only one can attack. He's choosing not to attack with it. Makes sense. You don't want to. Because these Hellfire Scarns are so high on health. Aha! A demolition! Nelson's waiting. We play it. Move him down. Yeah, the Scarns are very big, and they have they have Swift Strike, so they're all really dangerous. Now, I th I don't want to attack. Ugh, how, how to do this though? I don't want to. Uh, let's see. If I attack, no, 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 no. That would be suicide attacking right now because he could just he could block with the Grolk and the Briar Patch, absorb the hits there, and then block over here, and he'd win. We're still in a stalling pattern. We're still in a holding pattern. And until I could get rid of one of those cards, we remain in that pattern. A long, slow march. If he's got another Grolk in there, that's game. Uh, I'm really not sure what the right answer here is. The best possible outcome for me at this point. Well, I mean, there's a couple of things I could card deck. Admittedly, I may have two, hel two 13, 12 Hellfire Scarns out here, and those are massive. But I'm not in a really good position. Reason being that I don't have a good way to go out and get him. If I move out to attack, he just has ways to, you know, avoid the damage by chump blocking with these troops and uh, and then smack me in the face since I'm at 10 health. I can't afford to take a hit. But the problem is he's playing, he, in a long-term game, he has the edge here. I need to hope that the cards I draw will help me end this game. Veteran Gladiator would be really useful here. Wild Shard really isn't. All right, so I think we just have to wait till the next turn. You User joined your channel. So I think we keep playing. Keep playing defense. I just don't... No. I, I don't have a way. If the gas troll's bigger, or if I had a... I could attack with one Hellfire Scarn, maybe? To draw something out, but again, that just leaves me incredibly open. Flygorger. So he can just gain health. Whoa, 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 does the garden give you? Oh no. Oh. Oh my. My game with Deathwing Wind. Does it count the seed counters from the Warlock for this? 
Because if it does, that is horrible. Yeah, oh, well, now he's at 8-8s. Eight eight. Now he can start attacking me. Yep. This deck is not made for long-term games. It is not meant for the long tempo, and we're going to see Gwer stomp over me User left next the turn. So we're going to go to a game three. Yeah, he's just attacking User with a Grok. That's all he's got. I mean, he only needs to do that. Ew. Well done. That was a that was a good encounter, and my deck was able to adapt. But again, this deck is not made to last this long. This deck is meant to win the game between turns four and five, six at the latest. And we, I don't know what we're in. Oh, hey, Jordan, welcome to the chat, man. Good to have you in here. Unfortunately, you just tuned in at the right time to see me get stomped. Absolutely stomped. Yeah, it's GG and he knows it, so I'm just... <laughs> I mean, what he's going to do is he only needs... I can only defend against... Well, no... <sighs> Do I want to... Or am I just delaying the inevitable? You know what? No, I take it back. We, we can... We can last one more turn. What he's going to do is he's going to attack with... I mean, admittedly, he's at 35 health. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this down with the cards that I have in this deck. Plus what I have on the board. He'll be attacking with three of his Briar Legions. Oh, good grief. Plant Garden is insane. 43 health, that is ridiculous. Ooh, ooh. He might... 10 tens. Still not as big as the Hellfire Scarns, but at this point that's... Kind of beside the point. He's going to attack with these three, I would imagine. He's just attacking with the Krulk. Okay. All it takes is two or three turns, and he can smack me with the Briar Legions. I could tear I could take down two of the Briar Legions with these Scarns. But then there's two others that are representing 20 damage on the board that I just do not have the ability to deal with. Ruby Aura! <laughs> well, it User joined won't channel. save me, but... No, nah, he, he's got me. At this point, I'm just kidding myself. I think I'm going to... Just go in. Yeah. I mean, what? What could I possibly do in this game? I don't see a way to last, and we still have a third game to do, and this is the first game of our tournament here, so... I think... For now, we go in. I just don't have a response. Yeah, I'm giving that one to him. I just, there's no cards in my deck that have the ability to uh, get this out. And with his health counter up that high, he's unreachable. You know, if he only had a few points of health, then I could hold out for a spell. But 43, that isn't happening. So, I'm giving him that one. And we'll move on to game three.